Salt Lake City, the latest on a campaign to end closed door, one third meetings involving Mormon lay leaders and youth, all times local. About 1,000 Mormons and former loyal have marched to the church's headquarters in Salt Lake City to deliver petitions demanding an end to one on one interviews between Mormon youth and lay leaders and the sensual questions that sometimes arise. They carried signs saying, Mormon children, we have your back and no more closed doors as they protested the meetings that they contend lead to unhealthy shaming of youth. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints changed policy this week to allow children to bring a parent or adult with them if they choose. The protesters say that doesn't go far enough. The march had been planned for months by a group that launched a campaign last year. Mormon spokeswoman Irene Casso says Friday that the church condemns any inappropriate behavior or abuse regardless of where or when it occurs. A group of people demanding an end to one-on-one -on -one interviews between Mormon youth and lay leaders and the sexual questions that sometimes arise during the meetings plan to march to church headquarters Friday to show they're not satisfied despite a rule change this week that allows children to bring parents with them. Group organizer Sam Young, a Mormon father from Houston, says a parent or adult should be required for all meetings. He said sexual questions often become explicit and argues children should only be asked if they are obeying the faith's law of chastity. Church officials say the interviews allow bishops to get to know youth better and determine their religious habits and obedience to God. Young is expecting several hundred people at the event that comes one day before a church conference.